the lawyer from around the world we have a laptop to fix that the laptop is lenovo uh, it's lenovo yoga 11e the laptop looks like this it's open it's coming from another computer repair shop and what they are saying about this laptop the laptop doesn't have power this is job from another computer repair shop so we have the usb charging port you remember the lenovo that the charging port this one so plug in the the charger it's taking 22 milliamps uh, pressing the power on switch here the switch is on this side here pressing it nothing happened so what can be faulty what can be fault on this motherboard uh, here we have this side the other side of the motherboard we have some, some coils in this plastic foil what let me check i think i've just seen the worst thing here okay let's check on a microscope okay we have the input section here see almost the most face in serial mode you can see the first one second one we have those MOSFETs in serial mode in the current sensor and we have uh, We have the Lenovo, that is the startup chip, which I believe is blown up. Let's see here. Yeah, the, the EC chip is blown up. 8386E. So I don't think we can do anything here. I don't think we can do anything. Because this chip is gone. Ah. Huh? Lenovo 8386E. Let me see if I can get this controller. We just blown up. So, even the plastic foil, if we check on this plastic foil, here we have a benchmark. And uh, the benchmark is going straight. On the controller so we have a big problem here but to confirm that the controller is blown up for sure we can check on the last pin of the bios chip pin number one two three four pin number four and pin number eight is grounded uh, and the ship is gone uh, as you can see this controller is gone so
This is the point when I can't do anything. That's the point where I can't do anything. So, basically, something happened. What I believe happened, because if you check on next to the charging port, here, here seems to be a missing diode here. Probably they, they shot the, the middle pin with plus. If you shot the middle pin with the plus on the Lenovo, uh, you burn the controller. You burn the controller because the middle pin, the middle pin, these pins are ground, that's the middle pin. Want to check this middle pin and see where this middle pin is going? Check here. It's beeping exactly on this controller. Huh? You see how this bed, how? How this design is so bad. Um, here on the charging port, we have these two, first two wires which are going to this fuse. You see this brown fuse? That's a fuse. We have two pins which are going to the plus and these two pins on the minus and that's the middle pin. And if we check the middle pin here, it's going here. Uh, it's going exactly here. Okay. It's beeping here. So how is that possible to put a wire which is coming from the charging port straight to the EC chip which is meant to work with 3.3 volts? So of course we have a dead controller but in this situation I'll blame Lenovo for doing such kind of thing because we can't have a, um, a wire which is coming straight from the charging port to the to the EC chip, huh? And if you short that middle pin to plus, uh, you bend the the EC chip. I believe that's what happened on this motherboard because the EC chip is meant to work with 3.3 volts, and uh, it's blown up, huh? So yeah, I can't fix this one. It's very unfortunate I can't do the repair because we don't have this EC chip for this model. Even if I'm to order one, uh, this job from another computer repair shop, they can't pay. They can't pay, that's the thing. They can't pay. So this repair is just a, wait, a matter of wasting time. But I don't blame the owner, the use of the laptop. I blame the, the, the Lenovo. Because the, this middle pin, you see we have two pins on the plus, two pins to ground, and the middle pin. And the middle pin is going straight to the, to the Lenovo uh, EC controller, the embedded controller. Huh? So, how is that possible? To have a pin which is on the charging port going straight to the controller, which is meant to work with 3.3 volts. Obviously, if you've done a mistake and showed that pin to plus, you bend the controller. 
and the last pin of the BIOS chip is also going to ground and this is the problem uh, but we can we can just check we can just check uh, 3 volts let's come with 3 volts or even 1 or even 1.5 volts uh, 2 volts one point eight volts maybe that in one point eight bios chip uh, and is taking one hundred eighty milliamps okay What is taking 180? Uh, here we have nothing. We have nothing. But what do you think is that? That's the EC chip. That's the EC chip. And it's getting warm. So... I'll stop this video now. Like, subscribe, don't forget to turn the notification bell for future updates. The repair was unsuccessful, unsuccessful. but uh, I will say, of course, the laptop is dead, but here we have some kind of bad design from the manufacturer. Uh, see you on the next one. Bye.